everyone. Well, I am back today to show you my Christmas collection for this year. I have four journals here. They are soft cover. Uh, they are five by eight and a quarter and are made from vintage hankies. Um, you can see on the front here. And then on the back, I just have um, some more current fabric. Second one, and this one, and this one. Now these are um, made up, of course, of the vintage hankies, but also lots of vintage elements uh, inside the journals as well. They are all the same, uh, the inside, so I will flip through um, this one and then the other ones um, will be the same. Um, and my inspiration for these actually came from my um, December journal from last year. Uh, I'm going to link um, the flip through of this below so that you can see how I used it. Uh, but this was made, uh, the cover was made from um, uh, an apron, a Christmas apron that my mom had uh, in the 1950s. So uh, you can see how I used that and I made uh, this little tassel for myself as well. Um, so let me show you, let me throw, put these to the side. Let me show you what they're like on the inside. So of course they're all um, tied with this uh, gingham uh, red and white ribbon and uh, lined inside um, with fabric. I have an envelope here in the front uh, and I, if you look at my December journal flip through, you'll see that I always like to start my month with the calendar for December and just kind of indicate kind of what's happening for the month. So I, I kind of replicated that with this. It's just a little journaling card uh, that you can, you could um, move somewhere else um, uh, in the journal. Here I have a few things. So this is a library pocket and this is just some washi tape actually. Uh, and then this Merry Christmas is um, from Tim Holtz. This is a printable. Uh, so I've used printables from KB and Friends. Um, I think there's some Molly's Mantle in here. Uh, there is GT Designs. Uh, I think um, a couple of other shops as well. So what I will do is link for you, or at least list for you below uh, the various shops that I have used as well. Um, Paper Pippi uh, at paperpippi.com, and, and I'll, I'll list this below, has some great printables that I used. You'll see I used in my journal, but they're for personal use only. So I have not used them in these uh, journals that are going to be for sale, but if you purchase one, um, you might want to check out her shop uh, to get some of those uh, wonderful kind of retro printables. Uh, so this is um, just a, a vintage sale tag, uh, a vintage uh, diner tag. I like to use these uh, for kind of documenting um, uh, an evening uh, meal out somewhere. I like I like. Uh, uh, using those and then a, a vintage sale price tag a little bit of um, trim here uh, this is a printable from the paper basket and then they've they've all got these vintage Betty Crocker um, uh, recipe pages as well and I have not glued these down you could glue it down and use that as a pocket uh, so you'll see there's lots of things here that I've just clipped in um, so that you can really customize it and use it as, as you would like to. So just some, some journaling cards here, some just a few vintage recipes here that, that you could certainly use um, as journaling cards. I have left everything white on the back uh, because you may want to put a photo on it or the white I find is good uh, if, you're, if you're doing some journaling. So lots of trim here. Um, this is a vellum pocket. Uh, and actually, all of these hankies I have scanned, and I'm going to have them in my shop uh, if you want to um, purchase them to use in your own journals. 
I like um, printing them on vellum because I, I really like kind of that transparent look of them, but they look wonderful if you printed it on cardstock to make a cover uh, or just on regular printer paper as a regular um, sheet throughout. So this is uh, just a, a, a printable that I've clipped um, with this um, paper clip that I've made and uh, just a pretty journaling tag. I thought this was fun to have in the journal, how to make your house smell like Christmas. And then this is a vintage uh, gift bag as well. So things that I, I thought you know people want to use in their journals that gift bag you could tip in just with some uh, some washi tape if you wanted to a doily here so you could add a photo or do journaling there um, so here I've printed on vellum and just added a bit of trim there um, a couple of things that I've I've um, hung from a, a clip here on the side and here, uh, another journaling card, and this is just an envelope. There's nothing in the envelope. I just thought it was a good addition uh, to put, you know, whatever you wanted to, to put in it. Um, these are vintage photos, and I have just printed these on uh, glossy printer paper, um, photo paper, and, and they look like uh, real photos. Uh, this is, um, I believe, a little bindy uh, Christmas linens printable and I've actually adhered it down completely I thought it would be a great journaling spot and then you could put a photo there love this paper that's from pink paper peppermints um, she also has some gorgeous retro um, Christmas printables you should check that out this is a pocket a vintage doily here um, just some um, tracing paper with a little kind of red line in it, um, some vintage children's printing paper, and just another uh, vintage page from, I think it was called The Workbook. It was a Christmas um, book, so there's a few uh, Christmas items there. Bit of trim. This is, I think, from Little Bindy as well, and I've just made it into a pocket. Uh, and then I've created this tag. This is um, just a cutout that I've made, and I thought that was a great journaling tag. Here I've just uh, cut out some, these are just printable circles um, with various um, candles and baubles on it, and I've just added those as tabs to the page. And here I've just clipped uh, a few things to use throughout the journal. And this is some sheet music. Um, I've got both sides clipped here when I was sewing the signatures in. Now I have just folded this. So that's the entire sheet. I've just folded it so it would fit. And you could fold this uh, to make pockets, leave it like that. You'll see in the one that I did last year, I glued it together like this to make um, a large center pocket. So those are options as well. And it's got just some great Christmas carols on it. Uh, here is a bag with um, just a tag in it. It's one of my favorite um, Christmas images here. And here um, they all have a, a vintage uh, Christmas card blank uh, and you'll see in, the, in my journal from last year I opened that out and, and journaled in it. The, each of them have a different um, uh, vintage um, card uh, so you'll see in the Etsy listing I'll show what those cards are. Just a little bit of extra trim here. Um, in this bag, uh, I have a couple of different things, just some journaling paper about, you know, looks to me like um, you would use that for a baking day or something like that. And then I have, these are just some um, uh, recipes here that you could use as, as journaling cards. And here, um, just a little bag and a little tag that I made to fit in there. A little bit of trim. 
And here is a little tag. And I've just added a little bit of lined um, paper here. And here, and this was a printable that I just reduced in size. Um, it's an act, actually a record printable. So it has all the pieces to like this Christmas record. Uh, and I just used one of the pieces um, to make uh, this pocket. And I've got this sale price tag in it, um, this journaling card, and then I've made a tag here to fit into this vintage treat bag. And I got these from, I believe it was Quimby's Closet on Etsy. And I saw today she still has some of these left. So uh, I thought that was an amazing find uh, when I found that. I've been looking kind of these, I've been collecting these, um, these vintage um, hankies and all these little vintage various bits and pieces throughout the year in anticipation of being able to uh, do these fun journals for Christmas. Uh, here I have a vintage, um, I think these are Betty Crocker. Yeah, Betty Crocker. Uh, they all have one of these. Of course, they're all different. This is just a printable Christmas cake. And then this is um, a vintage Christmas card. So they all have a vintage Christmas card. So you could, you know, use that, um, open it out and use it for journaling. And then you could open out the envelope as well, do a tip in uh, for that and, um, you know, write in it or, or add various things to it. Here is a piece of one of the doilies that I made into a pocket. Just a little tag here that I've embossed. Uh, with a snowflake embossing folder, um, just cute printable. And then in this, um, this is a vintage glassine envelope. And in here I have um, this North Pole Stores price tag that you could use throughout and then just a few little labels. And if you look at um, my um, flip through from last year, you'll see how I use those labels. Uh, particularly on these vintage um, recipe book um, pages just to kind of talk about um, the baking and kind of some of my Christmas memories from there. And then here is the uh, last bit of that envelope printable here uh, and a little journaling card and then I have just a few uh, vintage uh, gift labels and I thought they would be great just to kind of add a title maybe to a page um, that kind of thing so that is what all of the journals look like uh, these are listed in my shop uh, and if you have any questions please feel free to ask uh, I have not made these with uh, this tassel but if you purchase one of these journals and would like one of these tassels just message me on Etsy and I can certainly make one and include it with the journal of course there would be a fee for that um, and you would have to purchase it through Etsy and of course shipping it it out would take a little bit would be an extra day or two um, just so that I have time to make that um, but anyway thank you very much for um, watching and taking a look at these and I will link my Etsy shop below uh, as well as the flip through of my personal journal from last year uh, and I'll list out some of those uh, shops that I like to uh, get some of the retro printables, uh, Christmas printables at. So thanks very much, everyone, and I will be back soon.